Right, hello everybody, a little bit late today. Uh, I'm on my way to Sky to do Revista, which, like every week, I'm really looking forward to. There's loads of things to talk about. But before that, I thought I'll um, leave a little video on the Sporting Bet webpage talking about the two games in the Champions League, which again, uh, one will be recorded for me because uh, we will be doing the show while it's going on and the other one I'll watch live, so uh, we can talk about it after they take in place as well but before it uh, well you've got Real Madrid traveling to the very cold Moscow and let's say that uh, the feedback I'm getting from the club is that it really are conditions that they haven't faced in some cases ever and it's not the same as uh, Jose Mourinho uh, said to play under minus three or minus five or minus ten or doing it uh, when it's 10 degrees and a little bit cold. So I've got the impression that he may actually shield the midfield, make sure that um, they just de don't give many opportunities to a club that is a team that is very fast with a counter attack and more used to play under those conditions and the artificial pitch and so on. So there may be passion around Madrid, but they've got one thing that now makes them uh, probably the best team in the world alongside Barcelona, which is they just don't know how to speculate uh, so when they realize that there is little gaps opening up uh, in the rivals back when they realize that uh, actually if they keep attacking the rivals keep dropping back uh, then they're gonna go for it I, I only see a victory there maybe a close victory maybe just by one goal perhaps they will concede a goal they tend to do it or well, they have been doing it for 11 consecutive games I think uh, before they managed to get a, a clean sheet and uh, they were mostly and set pieces so they may concede one goal but uh, but then I can just see them beating uh, beating uh, you know CSK Moscow by by one goal and going to the Santiago Bernabeu and finishing off the job so that's what I think and then of course Napoli Chelsea what a game and I disagree with everybody when they say that the future of VS Wars depends on this game if my information is right and uh, I'm, I'm hearing from Chelsea lately what they want to do what they've been doing what the future is from the people that are taking those decisions so if the information is right uh, and I've got no reason to doubt it the plan is to to keep BS Wars on and they're already planning for next season they already made signings for next season the impression everybody's got is that this is a transitional period that uh, Chelsea needed to change and that big decisions had to be taken we've been saying that from from the beginning of these little videos and if a Chelsea are consequent with that then that means uh, never mind what happens in the Champions League and for as long as Chelsea become top four then they should be keeping the manager let's see because th there will be a big test this game is a huge test for both Villarroas and the team at the moment what I'm seeing is 25 players with 25 different ideas of, of what they have to do and that's not so much down to a manager that hasn't given them the idea of what to do but about uh, players that are stubborn and want to do it their own way so there's a there's a fight there to be to be had and at the moment it looks like Avramovic hand in hand with uh, VS Wars will win that battle we will see but in any case great game uh, looking forward to see Hamsik who I think will work wonders if he moved to Chelsea and I believe that there may be an offer at some point and Cavani, Lavazzi it's just a pure fast football with um, the rest seven players behind the ball eight if you can uh, include the goalkeeper so uh, all in all it will be a very difficult uh, game for Chelsea because they will have to take the initiative which I'm not sure they they happy to do at the moment uh, and one mistake will be punished uh, we saw it against uh, Manchester City Napoli can harm you if they find the spaces so I see uh, I see Napoli scoring I may see a defeat of Chelsea here by one goal and to turn it all around in the second leg which will be again a fantastic game uh, but I do see a Napoli who went through a bad patch after Christmas but then they got two consecutive victories they, should, they seem to have found form at the right time so that that suggested that uh, they're confident I know what they're saying they're saying that uh, no 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 Chelsea are favourites and all that but I, they are confident they can do it they may win on this one by one goal but I can see Chelsea overturning that and qualifying to the next round 
All right, let's see. Uh, enjoy yourselves, Sporting Bet customers, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.